Understanding the ISF process for goods transported by rail. Welcome to our video guide on the ISF process for goods transported by rail. If you're involved in the transportation of goods by rail, understanding the ISF process is paramount to ensure a smooth and secure journey. Join us as we explore the essentials of the ISF process and its implications for rail transportation. Before we dive into the ISF process, let's briefly understand what it stands for. ISF refers to the Importer Security Filing, a program introduced by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, to enhance cargo security. It requires importers to provide specific information about their shipments before they are loaded onto a vessel bound for the United States. While this program was initially designed for ocean shipments, it has been extended to other modes of transportation, including rail. What is the ISF process? The ISF process aims to provide advanced shipment data to the CBP to identify and prevent potential security risks. For goods transported by rail, importers or their authorized agents are required to submit an ISF filing at least 24 hours before the rail carrier arrives at the border. This filing includes detailed information about the imported goods, such as the bill of lading, the shipper's name and address, point of origin, and other relevant details. Why is the ISF process important for rail transportation? The ISF process is vital for rail transportation due to several reasons. Firstly, it allows the CBP to assess the security risk of incoming shipments, aiding in identifying and preventing any potential threats to national security. Secondly, it helps streamline the rail transportation process by providing crucial information in advance, reducing delays at the border. Lastly, it facilitates efficient resource allocation by enabling rail carriers to plan their operations effectively based on the provided information. How can importers comply with the ISF process? Importers must ensure timely and accurate submission of the required information. This includes verifying the accuracy of data, such as the shipper's name, address, and other associated details. Importers can choose to file ISF on their own or through a licensed customs broker. It is crucial to understand the specific requirements and deadlines for ISF filings to avoid penalties or shipment delays. Benefits of the ISF process for rail transportation The ISF process brings several benefits to rail transportation. Firstly, improved cargo security ensures the safety of goods during transit, reducing the risk of theft or damage. Secondly, advance information helps rail carriers optimize their operations by effectively planning routes, schedules, and resource allocation. Additionally, streamlined processes, such as faster inspections and reduced customs clearance time, enhance overall supply chain efficiency. Conclusion In conclusion, the ISF process plays a crucial role in securing goods transported by rail. By providing advanced shipment data, importers enable the CBP to assess security risks and streamline processes at the border. Compliance with the ISF process ensures not only a secure transportation journey but also promotes efficiency within the rail industry. Stay informed, stay compliant, and ensure the smooth flow of goods through effective ISF procedures. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the ISF process for goods transported by rail. We hope this video has provided valuable insights into the significance and implementation of ISF in rail transportation. For more informative content, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Safe travels and see you next time.